freezing my dick off out here, dude. I hate when the skies just turn this color in Minnesota. Doesn't that just like drain your, your soul of like happiness, man? If these gas prices get any higher, I'm gonna start drinking out of the nozzle. What the Bye. fuck? What the hell? <laughs> just stop. Dude, my tank's like empty. It stopped. It's like, dude, chill. You're too broke to afford this shit. It smells like Fritos out here. Why does it smell like Fritos all of a sudden? Another day, another job interview prank. We're heading to Chipotle now. It's the next story in the Rodney Hudson job search. Rodney's about to have to become a male prostitute if this, shit's, if this shit keeps not working out for him, man. Hopefully we're not late. We, we didn't exactly give ourselves ample time to get there. The interview starts at four, it's 3.40. And the place is 15 minutes away <laughs> and Dan has to set up and shit still. I don't actually vape. This is for, you know, comedic purposes. Dan's laughing over there. Dan vapes. I mean, I'm not about to fucking like get up on the soapbox. I mean, it's probably a healthy choice not to do it. So I would say probably don't vape, but I mean, I was addicted to it for like two years. I couldn't stop. So I understand that it's not, not as easy as just being like, don't vape. I feel like maybe outside the restaurant's not a good place to do this, but we never learn, do we? This was easier to do in the summertime when I wasn't freezing my ass off. All right, you know the drill. Dan sets up with the laptop inside and I'll meet you in there, buddy. Bro, these interviewers need to figure their shit out. Every time I do one of these interviews, they're always like, oh, I didn't even know you were coming. The person that does interviews, she couldn't come into this. I mean, I guess I, I could interview these sort of like- Yeah, yeah, like yeah, let's do it. What's good with you? What's your name? Rodney. Ronnie? Yeah. Where have you worked before? Burger King. Yeah, that was on my resume. Oh, really? Yeah. You didn't like it there? I mean, I loved it. I loved it, but the thing was, like, one of my employees, he would cop an attitude with me. Like, every single day I would walk in and that, that motherfucker was copping an attitude with me. I'm from the west side of Des Moines, Iowa. I don't tolerate any disrespect. Any. And I don't care if you're working with me or, or whatever. So me and him had to had to run that fade in the back right quick. I pieced him up a little bit. I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but apparently he told on me and then they had to cut me loose, so. We're pretty good at like hiring people. We like to like see how people feel do. So, yeah, what was I gonna say? Like usually we'll ask for like a degree or something. I mean, shit, I got my GED, does that count? I mean, yeah, but I mean, we don't really, that's not even required. Oh, a oh, word? All right. Yeah. What's the starting pay like here? I think it's like a 15, 15. 15? Yeah. Am I green? Green? Am I green? I mean... I mean, it just seems like you think I made of money or something. 15? I mean, yeah, 15 is what they start you on. Listen, I mean, listen, could... all I'm saying is, I know for a fact I can roll burritos better than any of those fools back there, 100%. See these hands? I've done some unspeakable things with these hands, so God knows what they would do to a burrito. Hey, on the low, on the low, I know you a cool guy, like, just looking at you. I got the best kush in town. My plug, he'll get you shit. That shit will have you on Pluto. It's like this African shit. He imports it illegally. He just got out of jail, so he's back on the street now. He, he's able to push push that grass like like he's doing you a favor. If you ever want me to smoke you up, I got you for free, for free. Yeah, no good. charge. Yeah, it's all good. Where's my manners? You want to hit? No, I'm good, bro. You don't vape? No, not anymore. No. Your mom dresses you in the morning too, or what? what Real men vape. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. But what are the benefits here? You get a free meal each time. Oh, word? Yeah, if you're on the short trip, you usually get to take it home. So I can just clock in and then take get my burrito and bounce then? I mean, it can't be that short. The minimum requirement of a shift is four hours. That's some whack ass shit. I thought you said if I clock in, I can get my burrito and leave, right? But you're not gonna be able to clock in unless you get scheduled to four hours. Oh, shit. Like the, you, you're talking do, they, do they actually like enforce that? Like they be making you stay the whole four hours and all that? Yeah. I mean, that's cool with me because me and you will probably just be chilling in the back, right? We're going to be dog fucking in the back. We ain't really going to be working, you know? Where's the designated like smoke spot back there? Is it? Is there like a freezer back there that you just chill in? Or what? The office would be the closest thing. You want to hot box the office after this? I mean, there's all their managers right now. Like, <laughs> I mean, they, they look like they up there making burritos, though. They won't. Yeah, they, like, I don't think people, they notice. There's like hell of people back there. We can go hot box my car too if you want. Like, yeah. I'm just parked right outside. Like, uh, no, I can't. I can't right now. I'm gonna let her know that I did the interview that, that it went well, and then we're gonna see what. So what? When am I starting? I'm at, when are you starting? Yeah. 
I mean, because we still gotta talk about like, oh, like, make sure you're getting paid that much. Because if you're getting paid 15, you might not even want to work here. I mean, I'll probably be selling weed out the back anyway, so it's really gonna be like 20 bucks an hour for me with all that passive income that I'm bringing in. So. I mean, 15, I could probably be able to swing that. Like, I'll probably just set up back there. I got about 15 clients, you know, I kind of run shit around this area. So I'll probably use like sort of the back loading area where you bring in like the, the sour cream and the lettuce and all that shit. I'll probably just set up back there and sell weed out of the back of there. That's what I did at Burger King too. So like, no worries about the 15. I want smooth over there. Oh yeah, I only got caught once. I had a little run-in with the law, but I mean, we got out of that shit. I just blamed it on the other dude that was working. I think they might have racially profiled him, but I mean, shit, like, shit happens. So, like, yeah, I already, like, you already told me everything, so it's like, I'm just gonna let her know. See what she says, I guess. You sure you don't want to hit, bro? Nah, I'm good, bro. So when do I start then? Yeah, I'll, I'll let her know. Like, tell her, like, call you, like, I, to let him know. I, like, on the low, I don't want to, like, say this out loud, but, like, I'm kind of strapped for cash right now. Like, I promised this dude that I had this big order for him, and, like, powder. I had powder for him, and, uh, I don't have it right now. I ain't trying to get catch a cap in the skull, you know? Because if I miss I'm, if I miss this dude's order, like, God knows what's going to happen. So I'm kind of fearing for my life right now. This Chipotle money, like, this is kind of a necessity for me at the moment. I feel like I came at you sideways at the beginning talking about, like, I need more money than 15, what you offer me. So I want to apologize right now for that. I'm sorry. But, like, I respect fi trying to like, get fif money. like, 15 works for me because I'm probably going to be setting up back there and selling like yeah. like weed out of the back anyway i'll give you 30 percent i mean you don't need to do that man Dude, just get the job no man. no you, you don't you don't have to be all humble about it i want to do this i want to do this for my friend can i try that on so i know what size hat I, i'm gonna get in everything so like i They're can tell the same, them man. oh they are can i try your shirt on then because i want to know if i'm like a medium or a large like I don't want to be walking in here with some shirt that's too tight on me. We're gonna you give know, you my nipples, to try on. my nipples poking out and shit. Like yeah, we're gonna give you shirts to try on. Oh really? We got all the sizes. Like, do I have to wear the shitty ass polo, or is that optional? Yeah. I mean, this is for managers only. Oh, that's managers only. All right, good. I'm glad I'm not a manager then. Yeah. Shit, like I don't want to be wearing no polo shirt. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm about to go, but I'll come in at noon tomorrow then. Just have, like I'll do like a noon to eight. I mean, dang. I mean, it's cause like you gotta get like signed up. Like, do I show up? How many minutes early do I show up for my shift too? Like, do I show up like ten minutes early? Yeah, or show up on the dot. Show up on the dot. Right. Yeah. I'll be here at noon then. Hey, uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. He just hired me. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay, yeah, but uh, you got yeah, 20, 12. You got 20 uh, I'm just, yeah. I'm just trying to introduce yeah, myself. I'm just here. trying to introduce myself to my new coworkers. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow, man. He just, he just hired me. I start at 12 tomorrow. Okay, can you come with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do I clock in and everything? Yeah, no. If you come tomorrow, you need to be careful. You can go to Big Boss. Oh, I got to wait I gotta wait out here? Oh, yeah. shit, that's my bad. That's yeah, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, What's good with you? Hey, I work here now, so I can help you. Yeah, I can help yeah, you Yeah, I was looking for forks, bro. Oh, shit, you wake up. under here? Hey, yo, this man needs some forks over here. This man needs some forks. See? Y'all need me. You got him some? All right. All right. I got you, I got you, G. No worries. <sighs> Fucking freezing my ass off. Why was it so cold in there? Dude, I feel like uh, nicotine sickness <laughs> from hitting that vape so many times. Yeah. It's fucking 50 neck in this bitch. It's just a reminder why I don't vape anymore. <laughs> yeah, that was the first interview where we didn't get kicked out right away though. <laughs> that guy was actually cool. He like wanted to listen. One of these days, I gotta get the job for real and then do a video of my first day working and see how long I last. I've gotten fired from like, my job's just me working normally. So imagine if I'm if I'm being Rodney. I would last shorter than a fucking virgin on his wedding night, dude. Don't worry about me, worry about you, don't worry about some, worry what I do. Hey motherfuckers. If you're intelligent, you shout out to Loaf and you subscribe to Loaf. You like Chipotle? It depends. I love Chipotle. My dream is to just be able to just like have a bunch of money so I can just walk into Chipotle whenever I want, and just like eat any, like all the burritos.